Hi there, Grace Point Church. Peter McHugh here. Rob's asked me to spend a few moments talking with you today about the topic more than you can imagine. It's a beautiful sunny day here in Melbourne, and I guess that's more than most Sydney siders can imagine. But getting down to it, this idea comes from Ephesians chapter 3 and verse 20, where Paul writes, Now to him who is able to do far more abundantly than we could ask or think, according to the power that works within us. The context of this verse is where Paul is praying. He's praying, and in verse 16 of Ephesians chapter 3, that he would grant you, according to the rich of his glory, to be strengthened with power through his spirit in the inner man. And so the context of this verse is that Paul is praying that above and beyond anything that we could ask or think, that God would strengthen us with power in the inner man. He goes on to talk about that strength being helping us to learn how to love well. And we find in verse 19, and to know the love of Christ, which surpasses knowledge, that you may be filled up to the fullness of God. And so the context of this verse that we may have above and beyond all that we could ask or think is that we could have above and beyond a measure of the love of God. The word here to know the love of Christ means to know by experience and encounter. And so Paul is praying for us that we would have experiences and encounters with the love of God that surpasses what we know in our head because then we'll be filled up with the fullness of God. Now, I believe that that's something that we would all long for every day, that when life is happening around us, that the fullness of God would come out of us. When we're squeezed by challenges in life, that we would find ourselves being filled up to the fullness of God and that Jesus' juice would come out. This is really important because Paul then goes on after this incredible verse to say, therefore, I, the prisoner of the Lord, implore you to walk in a manner worthy of your calling. And so Paul is wanting us to have an exceedingly abundant amount of power working within us that love would be revealed to us so that that love would then help us to walk in the manner for which we've been called. And Paul implores us. He wants us to walk in the manner of which we've been called, which is to love well, which is to love profoundly, which is to change the world that all the world will know that we as disciples by our love for one another. I implore you to walk in a manner worthy of the calling with which you have been called. And so the calling here is actually talking about our calling to live in oneness. The book of Ephesians is all about living in oneness. Ephesians 1 is about the fact that we have become one with God. All of our sins have been forgiven, that we have every spiritual blessing in heaven and earth. It then goes on to, Paul goes on to pray that we would realise the oneness that we have with God. And then in Ephesians chapter 2, it talks about how we become one with God. By grace you've been saved, that you might be part of the, the, the family of God, that you become a child of God. And then Paul talks about the fact that we need to learn to live in oneness with one another, the circumcision and uncircumcision, the Gentiles and the Jews. And so when it talks about a manner worthy of our calling, the worthiness of our calling is that we'd learn to walk in oneness, that we'd learn to walk in love. And so Paul is praying that we would have abundantly above all that we could ask or think encounters with the love of God, that we might actually live the way that he wants us to live. And then Paul goes on in 4 verse 3, Be diligent to preserve the unity of the Spirit in the bond of peace. There is one body, one Spirit, and we know the rest. And so my encouragement to you today is that you would continue to seek experiences and encounters with the love of God, that you might be transformed in your inner man, that you would no longer protect yourself, but you'd look for ways to serve and bless others in the abundance with which Jesus has blessed us. God bless you. I hope you have a wonderful day, and I hope that this has been helpful. See you now.